Some folks look at decked out trucks like the GMC Canyon at 4X and wonder, why would anyone need such a thing? But after spending an afternoon launching mud several feet into the air at an off-road park, we were too busy laughing like kids in a giant sandbox to worry about such practical questions. The third-generation Canyon can be thought of as another trim level of the Chevy Colorado pickup, sharing almost every part and feature, even the key fob case. The primary differences are in the bumpers, badges, lights, wheels, and the Canyon's unique amber marker lights on its plastic fender flares. Just like the Colorado, every Canyon is a four-door crew cab with a five-foot, two-inch bed. The GMC aims to be more upscale than the Chevy, so it skips the Colorado's two lowest trim levels and their less powerful versions of the turbocharged 2.7-liter four-cylinder engine. Instead, all canyons come with the high-output engine that produces 310 horsepower and 430 pound-feet of torque, which Chevy offers standard on the Colorado's Trail Boss, Z71, and ZR2 trims, or as a $1,285 option elsewhere. In the canyon elevation, at 4, and Denali trims, this translates to an impressive 7,700 pounds of maximum towing capacity, though the at 4X's capacity drops to 6,000 pounds. Kicking rocks. The canyon at 4X AEV we tested weighed in at 5,278 pounds, which is 172 pounds heavier than the Colorado ZR2 we compared against the new Toyota Tacoma. Much of this additional weight comes from the AEV's larger 35-inch Goodyear Wrangler Territory MT Mud Terrain tires. The standard at 4X and the ZR2 are limited to 33s. These tires, which give the truck its toy-like appearance, make it the heaviest GM midsize pickup we've tested, and its acceleration is a bit slower as a result. At 7.4 seconds to reach 60 miles per hour, the Canyon at 4X isn't as quick as any of the Colorado ZR2S we've tested whether current or previous generation. However, despite its hefty off-road gear and large tires, it's only a tenth of a second slower to 60 miles per hour than the Nissan Frontier Pro 4X, which is mostly just an appearance package. The Canyon's 50 to 70 MPH passing time is 5.2 seconds, matching that of the Frontier and the Jeep Gladiator, both of which have V6 engines. In contrast, the 405 horsepower Ford Ranger Raptor which costs around $10,000 less and comes with 33-inch tires, accomplishes the same in just 3.9 seconds. The AT 4X shares its brake hardware with the ZR2, using similar 13.4-inch vented discs in the front and 13.3-inch vented discs in the rear. The AEV took 188 feet to stop from 70 miles per hour, two feet longer than the previous ZR2 we tested but an impressive 30 feet shorter than the Ranger Raptor. The AEV is a $10,100 equipment package that effectively gives the already formidable Canyon at 4X extra body armor. More on that in a moment. The AT 4X AEV features exclusive 17-inch Salta beadlock capable cast aluminum wheels wrapped in larger 35-inch Goodyear Wrangler Territory MT tires. With 12.2 inches of ground clearance, the AT 4X AEV sits 1.5 inches higher than the AT 4X. Unfortunately, the hydraulic jounce bumpers we praised in our drive of the ZR2 Bison are not standard here as they are on the Chevy. We can't stress this enough. The Multimatic DSSV spool valve dampers make this deluxe pickup an absolute dream to drive on the streets. Even on the roughest sections of I-94 near our office, the AT 4X AEV's dampers smooth out the ride. Despite the larger tires and added weight, our test truck achieved 0.72 G of lateral grip on the skid pad. That's better than the Ranger Raptor and tied with the Colorado ZR2 we recently tested. Even at highway speeds, with the AEV's chunky tires, this GMC is remarkably quiet, recording a 67 decibel interior sound level at 70 miles per hour something that Broncos, Wranglers, and Gladiators, with their removable tops and doors, can't match. We also spent a few hours driving the AT 4X over slippery, rock-covered off-road trails near Big Sky, Montana. The trails required a slow 5 to 10 miles per hour pace but weren't beyond the capabilities of a Jeep Wrangler Sport or a Ford Bronco Big Ben. The most challenging sections required the use of 4-low. Using the Canyon's one-pedal terrain mode in L1 or L2 brings aggressive automated braking when you lift off the gas. 
L3 is more like a normal drive crawl and doesn't immediately stop the truck, making it the smoothest. Terrain mode seems best suited for occasional slippery descents rather than entire trail sections. AEV, more letters, more equipment. The partnership with American Expedition Vehicles, which offers an impressive range of aftermarket overlanding parts for Jeeps, Broncos, and Rams, and famously fit a pickup bed and a 6.4-liter V8 into a Wrangler before Jeep did, adds rugged enhancements to the canyon. The AT4 XAEV is effectively GMC's ZR2 Bison. It wears as much body protection as an NHL goaltender. There's also a marginal improvement here for approach, departure, and breakover angles thanks to AV hot stamped steel front and rear bumpers, which the parts maker claims are tougher than getting out of a warm sleeping bag at 3 a.m. to use the bathroom. The full-size spare is mounted vertically in the bed, where it blocks about 50% of the rear window. This seems like an obvious opportunity to showcase GM's rearview mirror camera, found on models such as the Chevy Corvette, the Cadillac Escalade, and even the Sierra HD at 4X AEV, but it's not available here. Four at 4X AEV owners, then, hindsight is always 315 divided by 70 or minus 17. Every canyon at 4X AEV does come standard with three auxiliary connections in the kick panel for aftermarket upfitting. The switches are optional on at 4X models. The headrests in the at 4X AEV are stitched with the company's logo. While red knobs and switches add style to the interior, the door panels and dashboard have that same plastic feel as the cheaper models. The 11.3-inch infotainment display with Google built-in looks nice, but may hold too much responsibility, operating the headlights, for instance. The front seats are heated and ventilated, and the heated steering wheel gets hot enough to fry an egg. The not-quite-as-macho at 4X starts at $55,895, some $7,500 dearer than a Colorado ZR2, but our $68,030 AV test truck is as rich as the gold in them their hills. For some shoppers, the price alone will be a mountain too tall to climb, especially for a less-than-full-size truck. For others, it's just the price you have to pay to experience the joy and laughter that comes from off-roading in such a capable package. 2024 GMC Canyon at 4X AEV, a performance beast. The 2024 GMC Canyon at 4X AEV is a formidable off-road machine. While it doesn't boast mind-blowing acceleration figures like a sports car, its performance lies in its exceptional off-road capabilities. Key performance highlights. Engine. It shares the same 2.7-liter turbocharged four-cylinder engine with the standard Canyon at 4X, producing 310 horsepower and an impressive 430 lbft of torque. This engine delivers strong low-end power, ideal for off-roading. Off-road prowess. The AEV package enhances the Canyon at 4X's off-road capabilities with upgraded suspension, larger tires, and advanced armor. It excels in tackling rugged terrain, with impressive ground clearance and articulation. Braking. The AEV tuned braking system provides excellent stopping power, even in challenging conditions. Handling. While not a sports car, the Canyon at 4X AEV handles surprisingly well on the road, considering its off-road focus.